Since its release at SCA Chicago, the fellow Aiden has been a super highly anticipated home brewer. Representing one of the final pieces in the fellow product puzzle, the Aiden is by far the most ambitious and complicated product they have released to date. I've been using it for the better part of a month now, but is it worth your consideration? Let's find out. Before we get going, a quick disclaimer, this machine was sent to me early for the sake of making this video. However, as always, that will have zero impact on the contents of this video or the opinions that I express in it. If you do want to check your local pricing for the fellow Aiden, I will of course have it linked down in the description below. Starting off with the build quality and design, we have to acknowledge that Fellow makes beautiful products for the home. From the iconic Stag EKG kettle to their newer grinders and even the Tally scale, whether you have a single product or an entire collection, they are all pretty much guaranteed to look great on your brew bar or kitchen counter. The Fellow Aiden is no exception. With its simple angular design and mixture of matte and gloss finishes, is a great looking appliance, especially when sat next to something like the Fellow Ode. The screen is bright, sharp, and colorful, but also integrated in a stylish way that doesn't detract from the overall appearance of the unit. With that being said, one of the immediate observations I think everyone made when we first saw this product at SCA was a choice of materials and build quality. While visually the Aiden fits in perfectly with the rest of the fellow line, the material quality leaves a little bit to be desired. All of the external surfaces are plastic, and there's quite a bit of play not only in the hinges, but seemingly the structure of the overall machine as well. The large size of each plastic part also makes them susceptible to slight imperfections or variations in surface finish. I think for me this is more so an issue of brand identity. Fellow has always been a brand with strong technical performance, but an equal if not greater emphasis on the designer or high-end appeal of their products. They just started selling Fellow at Harrods, for goodness sake. The stag kettles feel high-end, their drinkware feels high-end, the tally scales feel high-end, the ode feels high-end, but this machine just doesn't. And pricing aside, I think that's a bit of a shame. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the Aiden is not just a simple drip machine. There is a ton of innovation and technically impressive stuff under the hood. And for that reason, a good chunk of the MSRP is attributed to that. If this housing was made of metal, the machine would have been significantly more expensive or not as technologically innovative. Or maybe they could have just made two trim lines like they did with the stag kettles so that the customer can choose without feeling like they're being forced in one particular direction. But let me know what you guys think about the build choices down in the comments section below. Moving on to user experience, the unboxing was very nice as we've come to expect. In the box, you get the machine, carafe, batch, and single brewing cones, as well as a pack of filters for each. One very important note to make is that these filters are completely generic, so you're not gonna have to spend hours looking for the right ones, or worse, buy them exclusively from Fellow. You can find these very, very easily when it comes time to buy more. The main selling feature of the Aiden, in my opinion, is its flexibility to allow you to have a quick and simple experience, or go complete specialty coffee nerd and take control of every aspect of the brewing process. In its most simple instant brew mode, you add any amount of water, any dose of coffee, hit go, and it then pours that water over the coffee like most basic home drip machines. You can also use this menu item as a shortcut to your favorite default brew profile and size by reprogramming it in the settings if you want. Other brew modes provide more granular control over the entire brewing process, which is really the Aiden's standout feature, and something we'll explore more deeply in the coffee quality section of this review. The menu system is relatively easy to navigate using the familiar turn and push style knob, also found on the stag and tally. Each menu has a back navigation at the top, while clicking will select and take you on to the next step. I do like how even in the guided modes, you're prompted to select a batch size, which then automatically calculates the required dose of coffee based on your recipe. This makes day-to-day -day use and changing up batch sizes completely mindless, much like the brew assist mode on the tally scale. Brew ratios are relatively simple math, but not having to even think about it lends to a very simple and smooth workflow. It'll even prompt you when to switch to a larger basket, depending on the size of batch you've selected. Outside of the menus, the actual brewing experience left me a little surprised in both positive 
and negative ways after a few weeks of living with it. Starting off with the positives, there have been a lot of thought put into every piece of this machine. The brewing cones themselves have built-in stoppers, so that when disengaged from the machine they don't drip, making your trip to the compost that much cleaner. The batch basket is also opened by the carafe being inserted, meaning you can pull it out as soon as brewing completes without risking drips. The ability to use any cup or travel mug with the single serve basket was something I was really looking forward to with this unit. Unfortunately, this experience has some quirks. First of all, there is quite a distance from the brew box to any sized cup, so brewing in this way causes a lot of splashing. I relented by propping up my cup by a couple of inches to avoid this, but I wish this was a challenge that Fellow managed to tackle in the design of the machine itself. Keeping on the topic of dripping, we need to talk about condensation. The brew chamber of the Aiden is very well sealed, maintaining a thermally stable and sealed environment to encourage equally stable and consistent brews. The downside of this is the amount of condensation that builds up within the brew box. When you remove the filter basket to throw away the grounds, you'll inevitably get some water dripping out and onto the bottom of the machine. The best method I would recommend to fight this is to disengage the basket once the brew is finished to stop any dripping, which then also by design slightly opens the top lid to allow that condensation to escape. Overall, the clever basket design and tightly sealed brewing area is something I see as a positive, but it is a little bit quirky to figure out a routine that worked well and didn't make a mess. Another big downside I kept running into was the water reservoir. It's decently sized at one and a half liters and removable for easy refilling, but it's almost impossible to see the water level from any other direction than right beside the machine. This is a surprising oversight on Fellow's part, and I found it really detracting from my enjoyment because of how I had to constantly be worrying about it. Seeing the water level easily from the front of the unit, or even getting a warning on screen if there isn't enough water to complete your recipe, is something I expect to see on an otherwise very well thought out product. The scheduling function on the Aiden works as you would expect, allowing you to set a ready time, brew frequency, days of the week, and which brew profile to use, so you can wake up to fresh coffee if you're the type of person who needs to save each and every second on weekday mornings. Moving on to coffee quality, we need to start with an immediate disclaimer that should really precede any review of any brewing device. The quality of brew is determined first by the quality and freshness of coffee you put in, followed by the quality of grinder you use, and then, and only then, differences in the brewing technology. The Aiden is not going to magically make your grocery store pre-ground coffee taste 10 times better. With that being said, the Aiden does have some neat advantages over most existing home brewers. Using on-demand heating allows super accurate temperature control, as well as pour-to-pour -pour variations, letting you nerd out to your heart's content if that's the sort of coffee science you're into. It also distinguishes and optimizes for small doses versus batch brewing by allowing you to use a conical brewer with different water dispersion patterns when making drinks under 500 milliliters. The demo unit I received came pre-programmed with several profiles, including one specifically for the coffee they included in the box from Prodigal, which was really tasty once I got the grind dialed in. Speaking of brew profiles, this is really where the Aiden tries to differentiate itself from the competition. Much like the x Bloom and Gevi 4-in-1, you get super accurate control over your brewing parameters, except it delivers what everyone has been asking for by not having a built-in grinder allowing you to pair it with your existing equipment and not be forced to spend money on a part you may or may not use. These profiles can be edited on the machine, giving you control over brewing parameters that I will list up here so that I don't have to read them all out. It is a little time consuming to set this up on the small screen, but I do like the fact that it's an option so that you aren't forced into downloading yet another app onto your phone. With that being said, if you are going to be constantly changing or building profiles, the app will almost certainly be a more efficient way to do this. I say almost certainly because at the time of this review, the app is still not fully finished. So unfortunately, I can't really dig in too deeply. The brew quality I was getting on the Aiden with this single serve basket was fantastic. I feel like I wasn't losing much or really any quality versus a hand poured V60, except it was completely automated for me. And this is really where the Aiden fit into my routine. 
I think it naturally replaced the X Bloom on my counter purely from the perspective that I already own several pour over grinders. So I don't need to have a machine with one also built in. If you're someone cross shopping a single serve pour over system like the X Bloom, but already own a grinder or want upgradability down the line, then I think this is really the sweet spot for the audience on the Aiden. What I'm a bit less convinced about would be whether I would pick the Aiden over my beloved Mocha Master if I was looking for a machine strictly for large batches. When it came to batch brewing, the results on the Aiden were good, but not notably better than what I was able to get out of the very simple Mocha Master. My engineering brain does still prefer the exactness of the brew ratio and temperature that the Aiden provides, but strictly looking at quality in the cup, I'd call this one a bit of a toss up with larger pots of coffee. I think this comes down to the fact that fine tuning and precision can have a big impact when you're dealing with smaller doses, hence the impressive single serve basket performance. But as the coffee bed gets larger and deeper, my theory anyways, is that these fine adjustments start to get diluted and have less of a noticeable impact on cup quality. So who do I recommend this machine to? If you're someone who was interested in the X Bloom or Gevi 4-in-1 for the level of accuracy and control, but couldn't quite pull the trigger because you didn't want that built-in grinder, then I think that is the customer the Aiden will be most compelling to. You get super accurate customizable brews that rival a manual pour over. And if on occasion you plan on serving a larger group, then you also have that option. However, if your main use case is large batches, this is where I struggle a bit to recommend the Aiden over some of the other tried and true options like the Mocha Master that perform equally well on large brews, are rock solid in terms of reliability, and can often be found on sale for significantly less money than the Aiden. Now, looks will of course be subjective, but the sleek appearance when paired with other fellow gear could also be a deciding factor, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, from a strictly coffee quality standpoint, I think that you need to be using the brewing regularly in that one to four cup range to truly take advantage of the technology they've packed in and that you are paying for in the price tag. Overall, the Aiden is a product that I have no problem recommending to people who match that use case, myself included. I brew two cups every morning on the Aiden and I sometimes host more people where I need the larger basket. However, it will not be replacing my favorite large batch brewer recommendation, the Mocha Master. If you just need to pump out a big pot of great tasting coffee, that is still my top pick, and I will leave that review linked up here. Again, if you want to check out the fellow Aiden, I will have it linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.